So how good is a 20 euro USB stereo headset from Speedlink? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcus and this is Tekken Course. So in this video we're going to take a look at the Speedlink USB stereo headset that is called Metis. It's available in both a USB version and a pure analog version. And the pure analog version it lacks the sound card that you connect between the USB and the 3.5mm TRRS connector on the headset. So we're going to unbox this, we're going to take a listen to it, I'm going to give you my opinions and any tips and tricks on how to improve audio if we need to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Here you have the box, nothing fancy, it shows you the headset and the connections USB and the 3mm TRRS connector. Some features and on the side here, I'm going to read this, it's a 40mm driver, 32 ohm impedance, frequency response 20Hz to 20kHz, microphone impedance is 2.2kΩ, frequency response 100Hz to 10kHz, pickup pattern is omnidirectional. This also comes with a storage bag, you will see that really soon when we open the box. And there is nothing really more interesting on it. Here's the tech specs that I just read. And on the back it's basically the same. It has a actually a really long cable. It's around two meters. Not sure if it's with the USB sound card included or not. But there is plenty of cable, I know. So let's unbox this and see what we have inside. So let's put the box to the side. Okay, we have some more here. We have a, actually a manual, a nothing really fancy. Basically, you don't need a real manual for this. It's just plug and play, straightforward, nothing really that you need this for, but it's included in plenty of different languages, so it's a really folding and unfolding manual if you want to look at that. So let's move on to the headset. Storage bag here, which is actually kind of generous, I think, for even though it's thin, it's still a storage bag that you can have when you store this in a backpack or when you're going on a trip. Let's put that to the side. And here's the headset. And you have the mic here. You can actually rotate this around any way you like. And this with the mic attached on it is the left side. And this without the mic is the right side. Uh, Design-wise, I mean, it's it's not, it's 20 euros, so maybe you feel like it's a bit flimsy, I don't know. It's pretty strong. And you have this on the side here, you have this turbine design, really cool. Soft cushions here. I mean, you should be able to wear this a few hours since it's a headset and you have some padding here on top as well. So overall not too bad and you have the mic here of course inside this and you can actually I think you can change the mic a bit so you can bend this to your need. All right, so, um, and we have the USB sound card, of course. You have the 3.5mm TRRS that you can use as it is right now in a analog connection, or you can connect it to this, which is basically a USB sound card. You have a mic on and off, you have volume up, you have volume down, and you have mute. So pretty good when having a conversation through the headset if you want to mute the audio or you want to mute yourself. 
USB cable and yeah maybe yeah I believe it's two meters with everything included as they said on the box no more no less so the next thing is actually to connect this to the computer because that's probably the way you're going to use it I mean you could actually use this USB connector with a OTG adapter for maybe a phone or a tablet but in this video we're going to try it on a computer using the regular USB and you can also use this of course if you want to use the audio output on your computer or your old phone so let's hook this up to the computer and see what it sounds like as you can see I have the headset on my head it's been connected to the computer via USB I'm going to play some music in a standard mode I mean non EQ or whatever It's actually a bit thin, uh, I mean it's completely flat now, I'm lacking some bass, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, besides from that it's very clear, it can get very loud if I increase the volume. And the isolation is not the best, so if you have a friend beside you, he or she will probably hear what you are listening to, because it's, the isolation is not that good you just need to be aware of it so full volume death metal I don't know uh, the people next to you might get annoyed however uh, if you keep it on a normal level it's quite okay I don't think you will have any issues around you maybe you're not going to use this for music just for talking and then it's, it's a probably different story so uh, let's see if we can EQ this and uh, in the end of the video I will show you on the screen what I have done to make the sound a bit better. much better. Uh, you'll see the uh, EQ in just a moment on the big screen. We're also going to test the microphone. What it sounds like in the other end, it's of some interest, I think. So I'm going to start the voice recording here on the computer as well. So let's turn over to the mic. So here's the mic, how it sounds when I'm talking directly here. Uh, I can adjust it a little bit, depends. I mean, I could move it away a bit. It's far off, so you won't hear any heavy breathing, I think, which can be a bit annoying if it's too close to the mouth. So let me know in the comment section what you thi think of the microphone sound quality and let's move on to the big screen now so now you know what the sound is from the microphone and it's always difficult to explain to somebody what it sounds like from the headphones but straight out of the box when connecting it to the computer it lacked bass so either you can find an option in windows enabling bass boost or loudness for your headphones that will help you uh, some audio drivers they don't have the advanced settings so then you need to EQ it in another way so I actually downloaded the Equalizer APO app so you can EQ all the different devices you have connected to your computer and to get rid of the flat sound curve I increased 20, uh, 25, 40, 63 Hertz quite a bit there and I decreased the 16 kilohertz to get a bit more uh, a bit less treble 
So with this configuration it ended up to be quite balanced. I could actually tweak this a bit more I think. You could tweak all day if you want to. But with this curve I actually got some bass listening to some modern dance music. So that's nice. Straight out of the box, I mean, you need to EQ this to get the sound you like. Otherwise you will just experience what I just experienced, lack of bass. And you have a USB audio connection as well. Which means you can mute, you can decrease and increase the volume and you can mute the microphone of course. And this is very convenient. And if you want to use this as an analog headset, you can still do it. You just remove the TRS connector from the USB sound card. Is it worth 20 euros? Uh, with the carrying case and the knowledge, knowing that you can tweak the audio, I think it's worth 20 euros. There are other headphones out there that cost more and they don't give you better sound quality than this. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.